yay, yay me, Nivia, Nivia. I have a rambling problem. I have a hair on my lip. And ooh, if it's okay, please. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back. So I have new hair. Like, yay, yay me. Um, if you are following me on Instagram or Facebook, and I can't remember if I posted it on Twitter or not, you would have seen it already. If you are not following me over there, please do. All the links are down below in the description box, and my name is just DIY and me everywhere. I am back today with another empties video. I haven't done one of these in a while, and um, I'm getting quite a large collection. So I thought I would film this for you guys and then I can chuck all of this away. I'm just going to delve into the bag and see what we find. I have this. This is shampoo and I'm actually glad that this one's finished although I do still have another one because I now have a new shampoo for coloured hair. But this is the Fab Hair for Fabulous Hair Argan Oil Anti-Frizz Shampoo. If you live in this country, I get this from Action. It's like three, maybe four euros I think. I did put it on my Instagram like ages ago. Um, but it's really, really good. I mean, it lasts, obviously, a bottle this size is going to last you forever. And I did repurchase it, and I would repurchase it again, apart from the fact that I've obviously now had my hair coloured, so I need a different kind of shampoo. But especially, I mean, this is super budget friendly, so if you are on a budget, it's a great option. But even if you're not on a budget, this is actually a really nice shampoo. They do have a conditioner that goes alongside it, but that's not empty yet, and I actually use that a lot to shave my legs fun fact for you but I really do like this I do recommend this a lot I'm just going to pull out the things that you guys are used to seeing so I have a couple of the Batiste dry shampoo in dark and brunette I love these with getting my hair colored I still have my natural roots so I can continue to use my favorite dry shampoo which I'm going to and of course I already have an another bottle of these on the go something else you guys very well know if you've been watching my channel for a while is the Nivea, Nivea, Nivea 3-in-1 micellar water. I've got two of these, I've got another one that I'm currently using and I think I have four in my cupboard as a backup because I always buy them when there's like a sale. Um, I, I've tried the Garnier one, for my skin I prefer Nivea so if you haven't tried this one yet, give it a go. I love it and I will continue to use it. I have no desire to look for a new one. Something else you guys have seen kind of before, this is my Essence nail polish remover. Um, I normally have the other scent, but it was sold out when I bought this one. So this is the coconut and papaya fragrance. Again, uh, this is the Express nail remover, but um, I didn't find it took the nail polish off quicker than the other kind. And I like the other smell better, strawberry something. I can't remember, you've seen it a million times before, but it's 99 cents. The one I normally use is acetone free and it smells better than normal nail polish remover, so I recommend this as well. This I have, you will have seen this in some hauls and I think what I got for, did I do what I got for Christmas? I didn't. What I got for my birthday, I think maybe it was in there. Um, but this is the Soap and Glory, the scrub of your life. This for me is the world's best body scrub. I've tried a bunch, none of them work as well as this one for me. I do have another one on the go. I think I have another one as a backup and I have some friends coming over from England in June and you best believe that I'm going to be placing my order for them to bring me some of these. So if, if you're watching, probably Soraya, I doubt the rest of the girls, but if any of you are watching, Soraya, Chloe, Abby and Carly, bring me some please. Um, but yes, if you are in England or if you can get your hand on Soap and Glory products, the Scrub of Your Life is an incredible body scrub. It scrubs, it's, it's a fine scrub, so it's not painful, but there's like loads of scrubby bits in it, so it really exfoliates your skin, but it doesn't leave it dry and feeling like really itchy and sore afterwards, so get yourself one of these. I also have, well, I don't need to use this anymore either, another shampoo. This is the Brilliant Brunette multi-tone revealing enhancing shampoo which of course when I had my brown hair this was brilliant don't have brown hair anymore don't need to use it I was gonna say don't gonna use it okay um, but if you have brown hair natural or colored 
brown hair. This stuff's actually really nice. It really does help bring out the natural or the added brown tones in your hair. It leaves your hair feeling really soft and smooth. The only thing with this is it's a little bit more on the pricey side. I think it's it's around 10 euros. I want to say it's like 9.90, 9.99, something like that. Um, but it is worth the money. I think I've shown these before actually. I'm pretty sure I have. These are the um, nose pore strips. These are just my local drugstore brand. If you are from Holland, you're going to laugh at me. The shop is called Crowdfart. Yes, I don't say it very well. But that is the brand of these. It's the brand from the drugstore. Um, they work brilliantly. For me, there's no need to spend the money on the Biore ones or some of the more expensive. I know Garnier. I think it's Garnier have some. I think Nivea have some. But these are $1.99 for 10 strips and they work really well. Um, I always buy a couple of boxes of them and, ooh, I always buy a couple of boxes of them when I go to pick them up, so I do have another two in my cupboard in my bathroom. Okay, next up in my bag is this Nivea Foaming Cleanser. You can probably see there is a little tiny bit left in there, um, but I'm throwing it away because I'm not going to use it anymore. As you can see, I've used up a whole chunk of this. The reason I'm not going to use it anymore is because I've moved on to more well, oil cleansers. I was going to say more oil-based, but oil cleansers. I am in love with oil cleansers. They really get all the makeup off. You can cleanse your whole face in one go. But if that's not your thing, this is actually really nice. Um, it did leave my skin. I have the one for dry skin, um, but it did leave my skin feeling really soft afterwards and not at all stripped. There's nothing worse than cleansing your face and your, you know, your skin feels so tight. This does not do that. Um, so if you just need like a mild cleanser, um, maybe not a kind of makeup removing cleanser, um, or if you are someone that does uh, two cleansers, maybe does the makeup remover and then cleanses again, this is a really nice option for it. It's really gentle on the skin. Um, and I really liked it. I just, I'm now an oil cleanser person. This is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. Um, Oh god, I can't, I can't get the lid off anymore. It's been sat in this bag for a while. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it, it has a nice scent. It's like a refreshing, um, almost lemony scent. I can't remember if there's lemon in it or not. Yeah, there is. That makes sense. Um, I didn't really like this, actually. I found the sea salt scrub to be too scratchy on my skin so um, and I don't really think that has anything to do with my skin I just think the sea salt scrub in general is is too rough um, so I personally wouldn't recommend this they have other scrubs in Lush that I think are better the rub 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 one is really nice um, I would recommend that over this any day also from Lush I have the million dollar moisturizer now I wanted to get this for quite some time, but it's so expensive that I didn't get it. Um, it's around the 50 euro mark. Um, the reason I got it in the end was because I was like, you know what, skincare is worth it, so if it's going to be really good, then get it. You can see that there's some left in here, and that's because it's gone past its um, date. It wouldn't normally have gone past its date, but I um, stopped using it so much. Now, this worked lovely when I first got it. When I first bought this, I had super, super dry skin, and this is a really, really intense moisturizer. It also has SPF 30 in it, which is really nice, um, but it's really nourishing, really nourishing, and it leaves a nice, like, sheen to your skin almost without you looking greasy. But my skin has been going through a process at the moment of really changing, um, and I do still air on the drier side, but my skin is definitely becoming a lot more combination. And I'm getting that typical kind of oily T-zone and dry everywhere else. So this doesn't really work for me anymore. Um, what, what I didn't really like about it though was it took a really long time to sink into your skin. So I ended up using this as an evening moisturizer and using something else in the daytime. Because this just wouldn't sink into my skin well enough to be able to put makeup on on top of it. So keep that in mind if you are interested in this. Again, I have another product here that I'm not going to use up. This is the Ultimelt, which is a cleanser from Soap and Glory. Again, I'm getting rid of this because I'm onto oil-based cleanser at the moment. This is a deep purifying hot cloth cleanser, 
which was really nice, but I kind of worry about facial cleansers when they say that to avoid the eye area or if it gets in your eye, see a doctor. Um, that terrifies me with facial cleansers. Um, and I want to be able to use a cleanser that is going to take off my eye makeup and the rest of my makeup and clean my skin at the same time. Um, so I didn't really use this so much. Again, if, if those kind of things are not what you're looking for, then this might work for you. But it didn't work for what I was looking for from my cleanser. Okay, I just have a couple more bits, a couple more makeup bits. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I got the little kind of travel size one because I wanted to test it out. Now, everybody raves about this product, everybody. Um, and I've got to say, I didn't notice a difference in how long my makeup lasted on my face when I used this and when I didn't. So most of the time I actually kind of forgot to use it. It was only when I was like going on a night out that I was like, oh yeah, let me put my setting spray on. Um, but I really, I don't notice a difference. I have the problem where the makeup comes off around my nose super, super quick and in the end around my chin. That's obviously because of the oil. Um, and I didn't find that this helped. So for me, I wouldn't recommend this. I don't, I know it's hyped up, I just don't see it. Something you guys have seen before many times is the Essence Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. My favourite eyeliner pen. I do have another one on the go which is almost running out so I do need to buy another one. I will always recommend this as a great felt tip, black, affordable eyeliner pen. And last but not least, this is going to be quite, look at this. You can see how much product I have tried to squeeze out of this tube. This is the professional from Benefit. Obviously it's a little mini. I got it in some kind of set for a Christmas or a birthday present, I think it was. Um, and I do have another one. Um, it's a little bit of a bigger mini than this, but it's still a mini that I picked up in a set I got from the airport, um, either Christmas or birthday when I was at home. I love the professional and I would always recommend this as a primer. And once this mini that I'm currently using has run out, if I don't have another one, I will be picking one up, so. I really like this. That is it for my empties video. I can see on filming this is taking about 16 minutes to film, so I'm hoping it's going to cut down in the edit. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you are just here to have a look around and you're not already a subscriber of my channel, please help me out and please subscribe. I'm trying to reach my goal of 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So hit the subscribe button and help me out, or if you're already subscribed, please recommend my channel to your friends and help me reach one of my goals of the year. Um, that's about it from me. I hope you are all having a lovely day. If nobody's told you yet, I think you're beautiful and I love you. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.